In 2023, we became the new owners of an abandoned farm in central Portugal. Follow our story of resilience, growth and the pursuit of a more sustainable and fulfilling way of life. Together we'll celebrate the beauty of nature, the joy of learning and the wonders that await as we embrace the Portuguese culture and create our own unique escape within the breathtaking landscape. Guys, we are doing the roof as you can see. Um, we've got six panels up so far. Um, they're heavy, they're awkward, and well, what to say, Theo? Walking with them panels, half a kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> My arms feel like they're gonna fall off. We've done so far, does it say 7,000 steps already today with these panels? Um, yeah, cheers, bro. I, I couldn't do it alone. And because this room is shaped very awkwardly, so we're trying to get it so it looks somewhat straight. Obviously we need to overhang them. We're just getting up here to be on the roof for now. So trying to make sure that the overhang on the front is the same as the back. Um, but then if you come around to the back, it is. Um, this is where the building goes a bit quirky. So it shouldn't, it probably will be a bit off. So there's a different angle here. So that will have to be cut at some point, but we knew that was going to be the case already, but let's crack on. Guys, there's one more panel left to go up. Um, we're not done by any stretch of the imagination. They're just resting on top of the beams, but we want to get a good visual of what they look like. So obviously there will be, we need to butt them all together. So there's one more to bring down. We're just trying to plan it all out. Um, but yeah, it's looking like a roof and you've got some good height, so. This is the the bottom beam, and then this is the the lowest point. So plenty of room, but one more to go. First screw in the roof. So I've made a bit of a pilot hole just here. I'm just going to pull back a bit of the plastic. Um, the one issue we might find is that because we're going into the big steel, we need um, we need to um, to apply some pressure so we can make sure we get through the actual beam. But the point at which it gets into the beam, we need to ensure that um, we don't squash the panel because if we squash the panel, 
water will sit in that location and then it defeats the object. So let's try and get this in place. Don't know if you guys can see, but let's try and get it. It's there. Yeah. You might vibrate off when um, I start drilling, but let's try it. So we're through the phone. There we go. That's the first one in, and about 100 more to go. So we're getting there, we have half a roof behind us. But the worst thing about installing this roof, it's not the drilling, it's not the lifting. I'll ask there what it is. What's the worst part of this job? This plastic. It's on so hard. It's like, it we've been okay, but It's the little bits that just don't want to come off. The edges are brutal. So we spent more time peeling this than we have roofing, but we've got half on. No, over half. I'd say. Five panels out of eight, so three more panels to go. So the next time you see us, we'll have a roof. One last panel to fix. This one here, but the only way we can fix it is if I'm on the roof. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get on the roof. So let me go on the roof. <laughs> Maybe we should get some screws first, actually. So far, we've got every panel on the roof injury free. We've just got to make sure that Dave doesn't slide off the end of the roof <laughs> on the last panel. The moment of truth. How? Will how he survive? How strong are these panels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got my hand in here. How much do you weigh? 110 kilos. Seven stone, is that it? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to stand. He's on. Let's see. God, that feels rope. <laughs> but it takes my weight. It's not bending. No. Good view. Pass me that a minute. It's not a bad view up here. There we go. One more to go. <laughs> so I seem to be demoted in this job and I'm now the key screw thrower. Come on, show me your best. Show me your best slide. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This is going straight into the pile. <laughs> into the hole. <laughs> into the hole. In the hole. Four. Oh, look. <laughs> you need another one. Yeah, because that bounced off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yes! In the hand! <laughs> I 
apologize about the camera footage, but the roof is done. Um, got some extra screws to put on the one side. Um, got to take some of the plastic off here, but we're done. It's getting dark, so we need to get down. We haven't quite figured out this plan, but Theo's holding a ladder about three foot below me. <laughs> we should be all right. Let's see if you make it. Let's get Terra Farmer. Oh. The roof is on, the day is done. Um, I couldn't have done it with the help of Theo. He's just leaving now, but oh, what a day. Um, yeah, real hard work, real sort of stressful day, working from heights, but we did it. See you later, man. Dude, thanks so much. Good to see you. Have a safe drive home. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, guys. It's the day after the roof went on. Um, so we've had the go-ahead to put some windows into the carriage shed, which is fantastic news. So I've gone and picked up some lovely wooden windows. Let's have a better look. So um, there, there's three sets of windows and they're all wooden. I think two are exotic wood and one is um, um, a lighter wood, maybe oak or pine. Um, but yeah, they're lovely. They've got a nice look to them. Nice fitting. But my job quickly today, I am bringing a friend up to Coimbra. So um, I need to empty the car. So I'm going to empty all these windows just temporarily by the side of the barn. And then we can start to see how they look against the barn. But I think they're really, really nice. So here's some of the windows, um, if I put two next to each other you can get a better feel how they could look. So I think this is a matching pair. Sorry, holding the camera and moving windows isn't the easiest thing in the world but I think we have a pair here. So, that's sort of what they could look like. So they are, I think a meter across and 1.2 meters up. So, that's what we have. I love them, I absolutely love them. So I'm not sure whether I want to leave them white or maybe go for a wooden effect, but the aesthetic of a wooden window, fantastic. So today I've been gifted a, um, a a big a big big agave plant. Um, I want to put it along the fence line of the property. Um, there's a bit of a gap between the fence and the wall and the barn, so I want to. I do need to finish the fencing there, but I want to put a nice big agave. Just it's just a nice location for it. Um, I think it'll look really nice there. However. Um, there's not enough really room on the roadside to park up there and drag it out of the car. So I'm going to try and back up and see how close we can get to the, um, the location where it's going without crashing. So let's give it a go. Maybe I'll put the camera on the roof to see, see how, we, how close we can get. So let's go. Right, this is roof cam. Let's see how we get on. Well, the camera survived, um, so that's the thing, as close as we can get because I don't know if you can see, but the um, we're just touching on the um, on this branch here. The, this is the reason why I stuck it out so we wouldn't crash into a tree. So, the, let me show you the location of the plant. I like to put it onto this bank here somewhere, so the roof will get the the 
fence will get finished towards the wall at maybe an angle and then the plant is going here so from across, across the road let's see what it looks like so here yeah, i think it'd be quite nice to have a big plant there that's how close we got so it's not so far so let's drag it over There we go. It doesn't look like much, but it weighs a ton. And it's um, very barbed. So I'll set it in. I've got a few more little ones to put around the edge. There we go, a little planting update. Let's see how it looks in a few years' time. So that's done. But the final bit of good news is that the fig tree has started to, to bloom. So to catch one too really, I've missed the opportunity to cut it because it's absolutely massive, but um, it means it's healthy, it's you know it's it's starting to to come alive. job should be the last daunting job really because we have to get it there and yeah it should be one of the last jobs at height which will be nice um, down here now we have a roof on it's drying out really well because obviously without a roof water is coming through the bricks so yeah it's a good big space here um, clear it out maybe paint it and um, get a new door to stop any bugs and rats coming in but yeah good news but yeah this is the bit I'm never excited about climbing the ladder by myself no one here so uh, it is what it is um, so here's the roof it's lovely and warm up here but one of these I'll undo, get the chalk line on, get it across to the side and then we can snap it down and know where to put the, the last row of screws and to tie everything down nicely and then we get the fascia on but last scary job, let's go. I'm not sure how long this is, so I may take this down with me and then pop back up on the other side and then do, do, do the line. Standing 
So I snapped the chalk line and I lost my 10 mil. The, the attachment on the end of the drill is just gone. <sighs> it's not one of my days. Uh, maybe I might just get on the roof, it might be easier. Guys, I'm on the very last one. So, I'll, I'll show you. Take your lungs, the last one. I don't know if you saw that, but the 10 mil um, socket just fell off the drill and went. So hopefully we can find it because it's chrome. It should be easy to see, but I'm holding up here. So <laughs> let's get off the roof. So I've just tried to um, put one of the these fascia plates on the roof and at a glance it looks okay so if you look up here it sort of finishes the roof a little better than this exposed foam however I've tried a second one and it, um, it doesn't, doesn't fit properly it's like it leaves a lot of foam exposed. It feels like a very precarious fix. And I'm not really happy with it, to be honest. And if you can see here, I don't know if you can see, it's sticking off the edge. Like it's not exactly safe there. Um, so maybe I'm installing it wrong. Maybe, I, um, maybe I'm doing something drastically wrong. It looks like, I can show you here. So, it looks like the bottom piece hooks onto the bottom of the panel and then this top rim here, just rim my nose there, that hooks on top of the panel and then these slits here push into the foam and it sort of does but just I think a strong wind would blow that off. So I'm going to go to the shop tomorrow and just bring one of the panels and see if have I 
got um have I got a lot which have been um which have been cut incorrectly maybe they're slightly off marginally or am I doing it wrong because if that tab sits on top and that one sits inside then this gets caught along the way so and then as I'm putting it on the on the, the panel um, they seem to go slightly out of sync so um, yeah I'm, I'm not like this isn't going to be the most perfect building in the world it was never intended to but something as simple as this I don't want to just I just need to double check first the guy's really friendly he should be able to tell me what I'm doing wrong or if it is a, a dodgy patch maybe so we'll find out tomorrow um, I think I want to finish up this video by just doing some foam insulation well foam foam filler around the inside of the building um, just to stop the drafts there's a um, well you should be able to see some light so yeah all here you can see there's a gap around the outside of the building um, so I'm going to go around and fill that in um, all the screws are through we've got a good fix the whole location so we just need to get this draft sorted so I'll spray a bit of, in of um, foam filler and then um, start to to really get a hold of this roof and the roof is on the roof is secure um, now it's just going to pretty it up I, those face plates I bought some for the back of the roof of, of the of the cow shed but now I think well with such a big roof I want to reutilise uh, re re collecting water so I'm going to put a gutter on the back and maybe an IBC or a tank so that's it the roof is on it's nice and secure um, it's leaving us a lot of headroom so that's what it's like at the back and then at the front um, I think it'd be hard to get it in shot but the roof is up there somewhere so yeah let's phone this but this will probably be the last you hear from me for this week so again thanks guys for the comments like and the advice and the positivity like it's really nice to see that people are really supportive and people want to see this product do well so th honestly thank you it means a lot and uh, for those that are new to the channel um, yeah thanks for watching um, if you like what we're doing here click the subscribe button um, and this won't be the project forever once this is done we're on to the main barn so hopefully we're just weeks away so keep following and have a nice weekend bye